Hey guys, it's and today's video is going to be a very exciting video because today's video is going to be my skate park makeup routine. So I really like this video because honestly, I've never seen someone on YouTube post a makeup routine for when going to the skate park. And I find this very, very interesting because I hope that I'm not the only girl out there that is very, very sweaty. For example, I see girls like Skate Moss beautiful makeup she always usually has winged eyeliner on and then like her hair is always loose or in a way that's very like fashionably like styled and like i'm like girl how do you how do you skate and you're able to maintain your makeup without like dripping or like your hair without getting like super extremely messy skate moss is she's like the girl queen of skating like girl i need to know what you do for your makeup to not drip like I'm the sweatiest person where I went to the skate park and my hair was flat ironed and it was down and this is my hair as you guys see. So you can imagine how big my hair got and then plus the sweat, it made my, oh my god, you could already imagine it. Dude, I would appreciate it if you subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button. Please, please, please make it gray. Then hit that post notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified every time I upload. Sort of like a little text message going ding, 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 ding. Pink Eyes 13 just posted and give this video a huge thumbs up so that way I could post more skating videos I'm sure this video with your friends and family so that way we can make the pink ice family grow and let's get on with the video okay so let's start off with face first please please wear SPF I found this really really cute sunblock at Ross at a discounted price for $3.49 it's the copper tune glow wit shimmer SPF 30 it's super cute super cheap and I love this because since it has glitter, as you will see, I love putting it on, especially to go skate because that way when I'm sweating and I'm in the hot sun, because whenever I go skating, I usually go at like 12 o'clock to leave back home like at 1 p.m. So that way like I have the skate park mostly to myself or just a couple of other people, but nothing too crowded. So I'm able to use the ramp like freely. No one's like... You know, you're not having to share, take turns using the ramp. And I love this because when you're in the sun, this looks super cute because you're like glistening, sort of like Edward from the movie Twilight. It has very good um, anti-aging skincare benefits as well. So I really recommend you and like it prevents like like skin cancers. I love to apply all my face products with a wet face. There's something about a dry face that like liquid products just don't go well on my skin so this is just water it's an ariana grande hair spray mist perfume bottle and i just put water in it so that i'm able to spray my face with it We're going to be doing the eyes. So for the eyes, I like to keep it super light and I love the glitter effect. I have this really, really old L'Oreal Paris um, eyeshadow quad and literally it only has like three shades now. But they're like the super essential like basic colors. This is the color Riche. The, yeah, the color Riche eyeshadows in 103 good luck charm i'll link everything down below in the description box and if i can't find it then i'll like let you know all right i wasn't able to find this product but i'm really good at linking everything and i always try to link the cheapest price for you but if i can't find this i really just suggest you like a plain brown eyeshadow like, and then like a shimmery pink iridescent color and then like a normal white highlightery shade eyeshadow so i like going in with these like big fluffy brushes so we're just gonna put this right here doo -doo -doo, very lightly very lightly nothing too crazy Blend it out very, very well. Do circular motions when in this area. So we could also use our beauty blender. And with the pointy part, sort of like blend it out like the powder. So that way like the powder picks up on the blender. And it's kind of more blended out. Then you're going to grab one of these flat brushes. And then you're just going to be grabbing your iridescent color. And boom, you just put it on your eyelid. 
And it's very subtle. It's mainly just like the light glitter shade. And then we're gonna go back to the fluffy brush. And then we're gonna grab... And then we're just gonna put it in here. And then lightly in here. Since eyeshadow is powder and it's not like liquid or like crayon, like like eyeliner crayons, they don't run. Eyeshadow does not run when you sweat. So I really recommend you, or if you're the type of person that you really, really loved having a winged eyeliner or eyeliner under your eyes, I really recommend you using eyeshadow as your eyeliner and getting one of these types of brushes. These brushes are very pointy, they're very precise, and they're very helpful when trying to do like an eyeliner look without necessarily using eyeliner and instead you could use eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna be grabbing this like dark brown eyeshadow. So as you know, eyeshadow gets into her eyelashes, so it makes her eyelashes look super powdery. So we have to put on mascara so that way her eyelashes aren't like powdery from the eyeshadow. But like I said, I do not wear anything that's like liquid when I'm at the skate park because when I'm sweating, I sweat a lot and yeah, then I'm, it's just going to drip on me. So what I do is I grab this clear mascara and then I pass it through my lashes so that way I remove any of the eyeshadow powders from my lashes and it's like a little clear gloss so I'm not worried about it dripping so guys I really recommend you if you like doing your eyebrows to get a brow gel, a brow mascara, whatever you want to call it. These are really good because honestly, I don't know what it is about eyebrow products, but for some reason, eyebrow products stay. Like, no matter how much you sweat. I really love this because it's super practical. You just brush it through. Here comes my favorite step. I love doing blush. I actually made my own blush. This blush was actually made with the intention to be sold in the Pink Eyes 13 Cosmetics Company. But uh, because of two or three things, I am delaying the release of the blush. But maybe very soon, maybe in the future, we'll be releasing it. So this is basically a cream blush. So I recommend you looking into cream blushes because cream blushes leave a very beautiful complexion onto your skin. So let me just do the blush for you on camera right now. So what I like to do is I like to grab my beauty blender and I like to wet it. I'm, I'm personally the type of person to use my beauty blender wet. I do not like how it applies my makeup when it's dry. I don't like applying makeup onto a dry surface. I don't. So what I do is, to always keep my water super moisturized with the benefits Nivea provides, I like to put water into my Nivea cup, well, my Nivea container, and then I dunk in my beauty blender in that water. And then what I do is, I mix the Nivea with the water, and then, boop, I'm over here taking out the product, and then, like, it's super moisturizing, super, super moisturizing, and then I just apply it all on my face. Like, I literally go all the way, this is how I do my blush every time. This is the only way I apply blush now. I remember back then when like you'd only apply the powder brush like just on the apples of your cheeks. Now I apply this everywhere now. Now we're gonna go on to highlight her. So I'm gonna be using this um strobe of genius um in the shade. Oh, I can't find the shade, but it'll be linked down below. And I'm just gonna be grabbing this, and I'm just gonna be applying it like this, like in the points where I want to highlight even more. I love applying makeup here, as you could see right here and then we're just gonna blend it out with the beauty blender to make it blend into our skin and then lastly we're gonna be applying the lip gloss okay so my friend Roshni she gave me these two lip glosses which I personally love to use at the skate park because since they're like going with the glowing theme that we love when we're sweaty because we're just glowing we want that Edward what's Edward Cullen look from Twilight when he's glowing in the sun <laughs> so mm, mm, I think we're gonna whip pink because we have like a lot of like gold and iridescency here so I think pink would suit the wet and wild it's cruelty free lip gloss coloricon in the shade Libra 677 
and it matches the Jemsies. So I'll be seeing you very, very soon, my mermaid corn, if God permits. Bye. Take so much good care. Bye.